Does a particular episode stand out for you, Sam, as one that, that might have challenged your own thinking about something? Well, you know, <laughs> you, all, the, all the shows about the death penalty challenged my own thinking because I, uh, I thought differently than my character. But, um, but know, you're paid to I, care. I know one episode where uh, it was about a woman who had uh, killed her newborn kids, like five of them, and she had Munchausen by proxy syndrome. And your character, so I'll make a deal with her as long as she agrees to be sterilized. And you did not want to do that scene. And I had to talk you into that <laughs> scene. And so we went through the arguments. And then he said, oh, yeah, I guess, yes, I, I, I can see how he might argue. Yeah. <laughs> so you made well, their the arguments? the blissful thing about reaching my age is that I don't remember this, yeah. but it's nice news. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always arguing <laughs> with Dick and Renee. And they'll tell you that. But... It's one of the things that I love most about the show is that, you know, my voice is heard. And, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. So who's, <laughs> oh, <laughs> but wait a minute, who wins these arguments? Sometimes I win, most times I lose, but, you know, sometimes I win. And, and it's really, the point is, is that, you know, I come from a specific background. I'm black, I'm female, and I'm in my 50s. You know, there's no one that sits in our table that sits from my perspective. Mm -hmm. And so it, it's great when, and we argue, we do, and I love it because it really means that they care about what I'm saying. And, and, when, and when I see my argument on screen, it's... It's an amazing feeling to know that you are a part of something. And it has been one of the reasons why I have enjoyed being on this show, mm -hmm. is, is having a voice and, and uh, being a, a real integral part of, of the show. That's got to be different. I mean, you don't hear many actors say that they get the chance to argue with the executive producer. And many the haven't been there. There aren't that many that have been there for 16 years. <laughs> <laughs> You mean she has job security? Well, it, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we keep changing our cell phone numbers, but she keeps calling oh. us somehow. <laughs> I, just had, I just spoke with Renee about something today. You know, it's, it's the opportunity to do that that's really, really great. And, you know, these guys sit down, and they, they're writing the shows, and if we come in with something that we want to change, you know, I understand that. Well, listen, I sat, I wrote it, I put a lot of thought to it. Mm -hmm. You know, say the words and be done with it. But there is an ear for how I feel and how I look at things. And to me, it's been, it is, it's the greatest thing about the show for, as an actor is that your voice is heard. That S stands for many things. <laughs> it do. But, it do. But, but, it do. <laughs> yeah, shut, shut up. up. Be faithful. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, Renee, a, a lot of uh, executive producers and writers, in particular, would not welcome uh, that kind of uh, input. And yet, given the issues and the subjects of of these shows, uh, all the series, but certainly Law and Order, you you have to sometimes take it into account, right? You have to sometimes listen to the other perspective. Yeah, we listen before, <laughs> before we write. And that actually, you know, Dick's uh, famous perfect episode actually happens, you know, about once every eight days at the read-through where well, all six, six <laughs> actors have all different opinions about right. what's on the page. Right. So 